As I listen to several news articles about you, I have been touched by the Holy Spirit to write this letter in prayer for you. My only hope is that something that I say will touch you in your heart and give you comfort and strength during your time of need. Sometimes God will allow us to go through many storms in our lives awaiting for us to call and depend on Him for guidance because He is God and Master of the universe. It is wonderful to know God is in the business of taking bad situations and turning them into good. Satan always works at taking good and turning it into bad. Sister Moore, none of us is perfect, and yes, we all make mistakes in life. I am sorry to hear about the battles that you are facing and want you to know that you are not alone. Sister Moore, your family should always be the most important asset to you prior to God in your life. You were created by God and He wants you to have nothing but the highest level of self-control and self-esteem, courage and self-love. And take care of yourself and everything else will come together. Sister Moore, you are made in the image and likeness of God and that means that you are accepted just the way you are. If God approves of you, never allow people that are around you or yourself to devalue you in any way, shape, or form. Isn't it great to know that the God of the universe approve of you? That is the highest form of acceptance, and now you must accept it, believe it, and walk in it. Hold your head up high, my sister, and walk tall and proudly. Get the necessary help that you need to get through this time in your life so that you can be a help to others who look up to you and who may be going through the same thing but only suffering in silence. And through the Holy Spirit, I do believe you will be fine. Sister Demi Moore, stay focused on being the best person you can be for yourself and then that self-love will be contagious to others you come in contact with. When that happens, don't forget to always give God the praise. You have come too far in your life and your family, friends, and fans need you. The legacy which you have created and your accomplishments will continue to pioneer and bless others. May we pray. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through him, as stated in John chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. Merciful Father, I come before you as a humble as I know how. I come to you interceding on behalf of our sister in Christ, Sister Demi Moore. Father, you know her personal struggles, and only you know her pain. Only you are infinite and your wisdom cannot compare to our earthly wisdom, Father. Oh God, your word instruct us to pray for one another. And as we pray today, I ask that you meet Sister Moore at her point of need, Father. Oh Father, heal her physical body and her mind. Heal her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, Father. Touch her heart in her quiet time and deliver her like only you can, Father. O oh, merciful God, help Sister Moore to acknowledge you and acknowledge the weakness in this physical body of hers. We are all mere flesh and bones and seek your guidance. We are all weak in our own strength, O oh, Father. O gracious Lord, help Sister Moore to confess her shortcomings to you so that she you can deliver her and show her how precious she is to you, Father. Allow Sister Moore to see that you will always love her with an endless love because she is your child. You have promised the comfort of the Holy Spirit to your children during these times, O oh God. 
Father, your words say that when we are weak, you can make us strong. As Sister Moore struggles to break through sadness, help her to pray to be motivated to get better and to see all that you have allowed her to witness in her 49 years of living, Father. Merciful God, help her to try again and again and again, Father. Whenever she falls down, give her the courage to get up and try again, Father. Cushion her when she falls and mentally allow her to be at peace and be stronger than ever before, Father. Oh, merciful Father, I ask you, dear Lord, to remove any depression that comes into her life. Your words declare that when we cry out to you, you will hear us and deliver us out of all of our troubles, Father. And only through your deliverance and healing will she be able to be a living testimony to others and share the hopes of what Almighty God has delivered her from. Oh, Father, thank you for removing those things that cause her to be depressed and replace them with things that bring joy, strength, and increase faith, O oh, Father. O oh, merciful Father, give her peace in the midst of the storm and make her enemies her footstool, O oh, Father. Father, remove those that are around Sister Demi that may not have her best interests at heart. Give her hope of brighter days, in ahead, brighter days ahead and allow her family, friends, and loved ones to draw closer to her, to offer any assistance love and a shoulder to lean on in the days ahead of father sister moore having been justified by faith may she have peace with you god through our lord jesus christ to whom you have obtained your introduction by faith into his grace in which you stand and you exalt in the hope of the glory of god and not only this but you also exalt in your tribulation Knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance proving character, and proving character is hope. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out within your heart through the Holy Spirit who was given to you as stated in Romans chapter 5 verse 1 through 5. Sister Moore, you may be afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Preplexed, but not despairing. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise you also with Jesus and will present your mind, body, and most important, your soul with him. Our Father, be gracious to your child, our sister in Christ, Demi Moore. O oh God, according to thy loving kindness, and according to the greatness of thy compassion, allow your angels to protect your child, Sister Demi Moore, from anything that may harm her father. Thank you for giving her a second chance to show you she is victorious in whatever she set out to do, O oh Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen.